This video is particularly for people who have uh, used EasyGig and received a block size error when trying to copy their data and they were instructed or recommended to clone their drives backwards. That means to remove the internal drive connect it to the USB app recording device and clone from the external drive to the internal drive. Prior to this video we've created a boot CD. If your product didn't come with one, use the EasyGig software to create a boot CD. And depending on your PC, you need to strike the right key to control the, to pick the right boot device. This particular PC it's F11. Most PCs it's F12. Here I have my boot devices. I have the old my original hard drive on the saddleware, my brand new Intel SSD uh, connected to the motherboard, and my CD that I'm going to boot from. This is easy gig as it launches. We're going to accept the terms. Get started. EasyGig will not run if it does not find an Apricorn device. So here, I have my, my drive with data on it, my old hard drive connected to the SATA wire. I'm going to select, pick the SATA wire as the source drive. I'm going to pick my brand new Intel drive, which is connected to the motherboard as my destination drive. gives you one last chance here. It tells you where your source is and your destination. You make sure you have this right or else you'll overwrite your data. That's it. Wait for EasyGig to finish. Power down the computer or eject the CD-ROM, the boot CD. Power down the computer. Disconnect the Apricorn SATA wire and start your computer from your cloned hard drive on the inside, the internal.